Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to pay your bills in QuickBooks Online. We'll cover both how to print checks as well as how to submit electronic payments for free through the QuickBooks Online bill payment feature. Today's lesson assumes you've already entered your bills that need payments. To learn how to enter the bills, you can view our previous tutorial by googling Fit Small Business free QuickBooks Online tutorials. From any of the tutorial pages you'll have our entire QuickBooks Online course outline in the left menu bar. So we are currently at the how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online. To get started let's look at our QuickBooks Online dashboard. If you don't already have your own copy of QuickBooks Online you can subscribe for 50% off by quick clicking the link below this video. From our dashboard to pay our bills let's go up to the new button. In the second column under vendors let's go to pay bills. This will show all of the bills that we have open that we're now able to pay. So these are bills that have been entered but have never been paid. So let's select the first two for payment. Notice the payment amounts automatically populate as the full amount. However, if you want to short pay a vendor, you can do so by simply changing the payment amount. We have the payment date. This is the date that will print on the check. Um, we're going to print these later so we don't have to enter a check number at this time. So let's not schedule the payments online just yet. First, let's cover how to print them. So let's do save and print. So at this point, these checks have been saved and are now waiting to print. If we wanted to, we could actually close this screen and go about our business. Perhaps later in the day, we would pay some additional bills, write some additional checks, and then we can have one check run at the end of the day. So to actually print these checks we've saved, let's go up to New, Vendors, and now let's go to Print Checks. And there we go. There are the two checks that we've already created and are now waiting to print. Um, notice we have an add check button over here. If we add a check with this button it's not going to be applied against a bill it's going to be a brand new check. So if you receive a bill perhaps and you've never entered the bill you just want to pay it immediately you could do that through adding a check. So if we add a check we're gonna to have to basically write a check now. So this isn't out this isn't offsetting a pre-existing bill this is a brand new expense so let's say we're going to pay our accounting firm two hundred dollars okay from this chase checking account we can hit save and close and that's created a brand new check and a brand new expense it didn't offset a pre-existing bill so now let's go back to our print check screen then vendor column print checks and there we go now our check to our accounting firm has been added to the two bill payment checks that we previously selected. Okay, so now let's actually print our checks. So we have, these are all the checks from Chase checking account. Let's say our starting check number is 1006. Let's hit preview and print. Okay, and here we go. Here's a preview of our checks. Now obviously they're just previewing them on blank paper. You're gonna need to have actual check blanks to, to put in your printer and print the checks. So. Once you enter your check blanks into the printer, simply click print and it'll print your checks and you will be done. Okay, so that's how to print the checks uh, on paper. And we'll say yes, they printed correctly. Make sure if they don't print correctly, make sure you hit no so that it won't remove the checks from your print check screen. I'm gonna say yes, they all printed correctly. We're done with them. I'm gonna hit done and now our print check screen is blank all the checks have been printed so I can close this screen. Okay that's how to pay bills by printing checks but let's look at how to use QuickBooks free feature where we can make uh, electronic payments. So let's again go to pay bills so new and then under vendors pay bills and let's select another two bills for payment. So let's pay foster lighting and peacock ball. Okay, so now instead of save and print, let's go to schedule payments online. Sometimes this takes a bit to load.
Okay, this shows the two payments that we want to make and it tells us that some of our information is missing. So for foster lighting, we need to select a payment method. So over here, it gives us the detailed transaction. So let's select a payment method. So we can use either our bank account or our debit card for free, or we can charge it to a credit card for a 2.9% fee. Now we can charge it to the credit card even if the vendor doesn't accept credit card payments, which is a pretty nice feature. Um, so we can put pay for it on our credit card and QuickBooks Online will still send them a check. So it doesn't matter to the vendor. Um, so this is a nice way to pay bills on credit cards, even if the vendor doesn't accept it. Um, if we choose our bank account as our payment method, we're going to have to connect our bank account to QuickBooks Online. So you can do that instantly by logging into your bank account, or you can verify it with deposits. So QuickBooks will send two tiny deposits of just a couple of cents. In a few days, you'll have to come back after you receive those in your checking account and enter the exact amounts as proof that it's your account. Uh, most people will be able to connect instantly, but if you don't have online access to your account, you could do it through deposits. So that's how you connect your bank account. Next, you need to select a funds deduction date. When do you want to actually make this payment out of your account? And then you're going to select how your vendor receives the payment. So they can receive it either directly into their bank account. So in order to do this, you'll need to know their routing number and their account number. Or you can have them sent a paper check. All you need there, the name is going to appear on the check and then you'll have to put in an address if you don't already have an address uh, in QuickBooks Online for that vendor. Okay, so pretty neat feature. How you pay and how the vendor receives the money are two completely separate options, which is nice. So you can pay on a credit card and the vendor still receives cash. So once you've selected all these required fields for your payments, you can simply click Save and Continue and it will schedule your online payments. Very nice, free, unless you want to pay from a credit card. And then there's a 2.9% fee. So great. That's how you pay your bills in QuickBooks Online. And again, please Google QuickBooks free online tutorials from Fit Small Business to view all of our tutorials. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.